this is what a Nancy boy looks like. This is what a real man looks like. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Kidding you about what? That. Uh, you should wear a shirt. That's a truth. I should wear a shirt? Yes. You should put all your clothes back on. I'm perfectly fine the way I am, so why don't you just get the hell out of here? Okay, before you get hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 What you put in your yeah. office? Yeah. Big guy. Yeah. Listen, listen. Listen, small fry. I don't have to do this right now, so please, just just spare me. Just spare me. Spare okay? You. Spare me. Okay? How about you spare everyone and put a shirt up and leave it to the professionals?
microphone away from me. You can get seen. This is the greatest body on God's green earth, you little punk. Look, look, do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor. If you're a real man, hey, Tuts, back up out of the way. I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. Listen, go play suck and blow somewhere else. Get out of my face. I'll say what I want to say. You shut up when I'm talking to you. If you're a real man, TJ Swift, you, you, you won't even take the opportunity to sign that little contract. Okay? And we are off to a hot start here at RWA Hype. Seems we have a match. It was supposed to be a contract signing. Hello, everybody. I am Clem Kadiddlehopper alongside my friend and colleague, the mouth, Mike Mifflin. That's me. And uh, please forgive us. We are a bit under the weather, and I, I understand you did some digging. You actually found out why that is. I did some digging, and unfortunately for all of us here in the RWA a sick person was left in the building and I'm not talking about mentally sick I'm talking about physically ill and when he was let into the building it seems that I have caught what he caught and then I don't know if he shared a drink or uh, spit or something bodily fluids uh, you are sick now as well but uh, but the the Mason Marks the Mason Marks is the culprit of all this sickness and rest assured that I will find him and I will have to do something horrible to that man. But ladies and gentlemen, what we have right here as uh, as my colleague Clem Kabittlehopper had alluded to already, we have a match here. It is going to be the, I don't know, the wannabe Chippendale TJ Swift going up against the big bad chocolate daddy known as Jamal Jackson. And we saw earlier, before the show even got underway, that these two were fighting for mirror space, and I guess that continues right here with a bit of a pose-off. Jackson had uh, persuaded Swift to not even sign that contract, but yet to go one-on-one -on -one with him right here. But we've yet to see action between these two. Well, TJ Swift is certainly physically fit. There is no doubt about that. Jamal Jackson is in shape as well, um, obviously, round being a shape. Elbow tie up. Uh, Jamal Jackson's having none of that. He certainly has this the size advantage, uh, the weight advantage on TJ Swift. TJ Swift, a strong fellow, no doubt about it. But Jamal Jackson, just a little bit bigger in every area, and I mean every area. So than the, TJ Swift. The stereotype is true, then, is what well, you're saying. I don't like to stereotype anyone, but. Ooh, there's a hard forearm from TJ Swift. Here's some punches now to Jamal Jackson. Uh, dropped toe hold using his speed to his advantage and his uh, shades of the Cali Crush Chris Cruz right there Did a little surf in USA not to be confused with surf in USA from back to the future when Scott Howard jumped up on top of the van Hi cross body. I'm sorry. I, it's another movie. I haven't seen Mike that actually wasn't back to the future That was Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf, right, but you're a back to the future guy. You should have picked up on that uh, I'm sorry. I saw something out of my peripheral I think it was Miss Lynn that caught me on. His action is spilled to the outside here. Oh, not, don't tell me. It. Hard body slam. Yes, there is a mat right there, but let me tell you, it's uh, not a comfortable landing. Underneath that is a wooden floor, and you know that's very unforgiving. And there's another body slam. The big bad chocolate daddy. And now with the referee's back turned, FNB and Anton DeMonico putting the boots to, to TJ Swift out here, right in front of us here. This numbers game, it's not going to work out well for Swift. And 
right in front of the referee. FND throws Swift back to Jackson. Oh, there's a back chop. You've been seeing the back chop more and more frequently used here in the RWA. I think Swift was uh, too eager to please the ladies, the new ladies of our RWA management, co-directors of competition, Liz B. and Navina Riley. Look at this high vertical suplex. Holding him for what seems like forever. I've lost count at this point. That'll be approaching like 15 seconds here. And down he goes. There's a two count. Seems they let him off. The new attitude of the movement. A sight to behold, no doubt about it. You thought they were angry and nasty before. Just take a look at them now. There's a hard chop in the corner. Oh, Jamal Jackson lighting up TJ Swift. primarily relying on his strikes here today. FNB and Anton DeMonico up on the apron now choking the life out of TJ Swift. Well, I guess he would be relying on his strikes and his partners in this. All well, the blood must be rushing somewhere else onto TJ Swift, not to his brain. Beautiful power slam. Two. At this point, it really, really would it, look at this. This is terrible. Choking him right in front of the referee. He doesn't care. That's that new attitude I was talking about. And it would really seem to me at this point they're doing nothing but just toying with TJ Swift. Passing up a golden opportunity at the Junior Heavyweight Championship and mixing it up with the likes of these guys may have been, may have been a big mistake by Swift. I don't care how good you are, it takes, it takes quite a man to be able to overcome a three-on-one disadvantage. It takes a hell of a man. Certainly it does. Clemson Vittelhopper hit it right on the head. And TJ may be fading off in, into the night here. see uh, Jamal Jackson quoting Kevin Hart right there. Comedian Kevin Hart, not of the Hart family. Kevin wasn't a brother of the Hart? Uh, well, not this Kevin. I don't think they had a brother named Kevin. Honestly, there were so many members. Oh, there's a backdrop suplex. Good gosh almighty, might have broken his neck. There's so many members of the Hart family that were better off being numbered instead of named. Wow. That is... Some harsh words. I mean, there were some fantastic members of the Hart family, some great wrestlers, amateur and professional. Oh, Swift moving out of the way. I can't believe he had anything left in the tank to be able to pull that off. Up to the top rope, and there's a top rope drop kick, missile drop kick. Framing him up right here. He just grabbed his junk. And now he's bouncing his junk all over the face of Jamal Jackson. That is unacceptable. The surge of energy coming through the body of TJ Swift going to work on Jamal Jackson. Finishes it off with that neck breaker right there, Mike. Very nice, very, very interesting. Oh, oh boy. FNB sliding in. Oh, Swift didn't even see it coming. Wait a minute. Catches him there. Insiguri. 
Anton DeMonaco on the apron, causing the distraction momentarily. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? I did. I saw a little bit of a low blow there. Anton DeMonaco on the apron. What is this? Cradle pile driver. Shades of Jerry Lynn. Two, three, and this match is over. Wow. TJ Swift. Pretty sure you can count to 100. Jackson very proud of himself. Once again, the movement here in the RWA making a statement, making waves, leaving a path of destruction wherever they walk, wherever they turn. Said he's the first of many pretty boys. Who could be next? I think Mason Marks is pretty enough. Maybe contract out the movement to put a whooping on him. Well, that would be fantastic. I wonder how much they charge for their booking fee. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. We should probably delete that part of the commentary so it's not on record that we're putting a hit out on him. But uh, oh well, it's it's recorded now. Well, I don't like being sick. Do you? Not at all. The new face of the movement is an angry one. Hold on. Oh, no. I see him looking at Swift. Is he done? Has, oh, come on. No. Don't. He's had enough. Don't do it. This is completely unnecessary. TJ Swift is, a, is lying in a puddle of himself right now. I don't think there's any such thing as enough when it comes to these gentlemen. In the oh, movement. hold on. Hold on. He's got that contract. What is he doing? Is he signing that contract? That contract's for a junior heavyweight championship match, and FMB's just signed it. That's a legal binding contract. Despite the the the, the weight limit, I mean, he signed the contract. But well, uh, wouldn't the weight limit come into play? I mean, oh, the ladies are not happy about this. We're gonna send it to Bobby Rossi in the studio. We'll kind of try to sort these things out. We'll be right back. <laughs> 